Hello! You're alright. Slight technical difficulties on my side. Well, it could be because it's the morning. I am rough and dishevelled, but I thought this was the best time to tell you a story about a troll. Oh yes. We're going to talk about Scumfoot. Scumfoot the Troll. Now, like all good trolls, Scumfoot lived underneath the bridge. The classic abode for the troll to be feared about town. And Scumfoot was famous, or infamous, across all the nearby villages. Everybody knew that Scumfoot was the most dangerous, scary, disgusting troll there was. He guarded his bridge meticulously. And sometimes he could be bribed, but it would require huge, like, half-butchered cows or the, <laughs> all of their worldly possessions that had any kind of shininess to them. That might tempt Scumfoot, but he was known to be a rather harsh sort of troll who would more often than not just kill and eat those who tried to cross his bridge. So Scumfoot's bridge is slowly but surely becoming less and less visited. Sometimes a brave mercenary or wandering knight would decide that he would be the one to challenge Scumfoot and they never came back. In fact, uh, dotted around the riverbanks of Scumford's Bridge, there were the occasional discarded helmets or, you know, just bits and bobs that indicated that you should not go here. So one day, Scumford the Troll is sat under the bridge and he is dully sharpening his butcher's knife, a gigantic thing he'd fashioned out of all the scrap metal he'd collected over the years. He was a bit glum, but doing his work, as a good troll should. That's when he starts to hear the clatter of wagon wheels on the bridge above him, followed by an almighty crack, crunch and kaboom. He grabbed his butcher's knife, scrambled up the bank, who dares crosses my bridge? In front of him was a wagon pulled by a small, very old little pony. And one of the wheels had fallen off the wagon. Although the fact that the other three had stayed on at all was quite shocking in itself. Next to it was an old man desperately trying to fix it. Panicked with tears streaming down his eyes. Scumfoot lumbered over, using the butt of his butcher's knife as a walking stick. Kum, kum, kum. You're a very brave man. The old farmer looked up, shaking and quivering. Please, oh, Scumfoot, I wouldn't cross your bridge if I didn't have to. The troll started to chuckle. Ha ha ha! What have you got for me? The farmer whimpered. I, uh, I don't have anything. The giant, mossy brow of Scumfoot lowered into a leer. Then maybe I should just eat you. The farmer, calming down slightly, even began to just let out the smallest chuckle. <laughs> well, you could eat me, but I'm all skin and bones. And as he lifted his shoulders up, Scumfoot could see the clothes just hanging off his skeletal frame. He was an old, tired man. There was no meat on him at all. Scumfoot scowled. Then what's in the wagon? The farmer chuckled even more, though still looking as tired and afraid as he ever had. My wife, my wife is in the wagon. She's sick, she's very sick. She'd be less tasted than I am. The farmer started laughing uncontrollably. No matter how grim the situation was, fact of the matter was, there was no eating to be had on either of them. Scumford did not find this funny. He peered into the wagon, 
hoping to at least see a crying, screaming woman so he could at least decide if the farmer was telling the truth. But there was not a sound to be heard. It was dark inside the wagon. It was all canvassed over. But as his eyes adjusted, he could just see slowly rising and falling, wheezing chest of the farmer's wife. She was on death's door, and more and thinner and worse off than he was. Scumfoot pulled his head back out of the canvas. The farmer was stood quite tall and proud now. Scumfoot didn't really know what to do. He had a reputation to uphold. He looked at the pony. The pony wasn't look good eating either. Just to add Im impact onto this point, it was at this point that the pony went <coughs> and Scumfoot could have swore a cloud of dust came out of its mouth. Old, old, old. No eating to be had here and no worldly possessions to take. Scumfoot had never been in this position. This, this bridge used to be an important trade route and there was always something to be had. The farmer, seeing the moment of confusion on the troll's face, plucked up a little bit of courage. Ah, uh, Scumfoot, sir, I have a proposition for you. Scumfoot leaned in. It was rare anyone bargained with him. What can you offer? I said, well, help me get the wheel back on my wagon. We'll be on our way, and no one need ever know that we travelled safely across your bridge. We'll say we went the long way round. Nobody has to know. Just help me get off your bridge. Scumfoot sighed. He knew he'd be beaten. There was no monstering to be done today. With the last uff of anguish, he took his butcher's knife, slammed it into the side of the bridge. <laughs> But don't you dare tell anyone. The farmer was utterly grateful. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Scumfoot. Thank you so much. The troll heaved himself over to the wheel. Picked it up. Not much of a task for a troll. Held it with one hand. Other hand lifted up the wagon. The farmer, careful, my wife. Scumfoot scowled. But nonetheless, gently held it. Put the wheel back on a little cap on the end, gently set the wagon down. He leaned in close to the farmer, really close. The smell of swampy mud and fish reeked off him. The farmer didn't flinch. Scumfoot said, good luck, and then retrieved his butcher's knife and went back under the bridge. The farmer, not wanting to chance his luck, got straight back onto his wagon, flicked the reins, and the old mares started to pull the wagon away, off into the distance. Scumfoot went back down under the bridge, back into his hovel. Sorry, kids. No eating today. The end.